Hello, I'm Pam Douglas from Duke University, and I have the pleasure of talking today with Brent Muelstein from um, Intermountain Health, University of Utah, about the Factor 64 trial. Brent, could you just give us a top-line result on the trial? Yeah, this was a trial asking the question whether or not you can improve people's cardiovascular outcome who are high-risk diabetics by screening them using 64-slice CT coronary angiography for asymptomatic but existing coronary artery disease, and then changing the way you take care of them in order to determine a different outcome. And the trial, in a nutshell, yes, showed no significant yeah. difference between those who were screened and those who were not screened. Interesting, very interesting. Why do you think that is? I think it's because within Intermountain Healthcare, they started to do an aggressive medical management, primary prevention diabetic program just about the same time we did our project. And they were so successful with that that it dramatically reduced the number of events compared to what we had powered our study for. So we had not enough events to determine the difference between the two groups. So that's interesting. So to me, the take home would be or at least one of the messages would be that um, really aggressively medically managing your diabetic patients is just as good as an asymptomatic, as a screening strategy, as a routine screening strategy. Is that, I, th that I think that's correct. And what we did find in that study, because we, in the scanned group, 70% of them had some evidence of atherosclerotic cardiovascular mm -hmm. disease. Very and high risk group then. And so it's a high, a high risk, risk group. group. And so aggressive management for 100% seems to be justifiable. Mm -hmm. And rather than trying to separate out the 70% that have it, mm -hmm. because probably the 30% that we couldn't find it are going to get it soon anyway. So yeah. I think the bottom line is aggressive management of cardiovascular risk factors in a diabetic patient is critically important and can be effective in reducing their long-term cardiovascular risk. Well, I can't, you know, we think of, of a, the result that you were testing, the, the hypothesis that you were testing was negative, but the implications for patient care couldn't be stronger. In other words, the, the information that we gain from that is really important. Yes, I think that's right. Um, we powered the study based on the adverse events that were happening in our own Intermountain Healthcare diabetic population 10 years earlier. Mm -hmm. and real we, world, very we, real world. Very real. We estimated an 8% per year adverse event rate, and we had less than 2% per year in this study. It probably is caused by the fact that about the same time we did this study, Intermountain Healthcare, used in combination with the cardiovascular clinical program and the primary care prevention clinical mm -hmm. program, merged together to concentrate on diabetic management and therefore, all of their risk factors were much better mm -hmm. during our study than they were before, and therefore we were underpowered. Mm -hmm. Well, that, it reminds me, you know, of the results of the Courage study, which, which of course, is not necessarily diabetic, although they all had cardiac risk factors, and very importantly, all had symptoms. But the optimal medical therapy, when you really apply it in the patients in that trial, was equivalent to revascularization. And so what could you find by a CT other than something that required revascularization? But we already know that that's about the same as medical treatment. Yeah, and I think there are some patients who possibly benefited by revascularization, but the number of patients was so low, and the number of the adverse events oftentimes occurred in patients that we wouldn't have recommended revascularization anyway. So mm -hmm. therefore, you couldn't fix them by mm -hmm. revascularization. What you could do is aggressive, optimal medical management. That sounds like the, the best take home we could have. We know how to take care of these high risk patients. It's just not the imaging that's gonna do it. It's good old medical care. And Thank you so much. My pleasure, thank you.